Hi! Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. Today I'm going to show you my empties for September and also what I brought into my collection, my makeup collection in September. So the empties is, that's both makeup and skincare and everything, uh, but I'm only going to show you the makeup products that I brought in this past month and I'm kind of excited. I have some really good empties this month and I also didn't really purchase that much so this is a good month. I'm going to start with uh, my empties and the first one that's kind of on the top of my bag is this Nivea Love Sunshine Care Shower with the Nivea Sun original scent. This is my favorite um, shower gel of all time, I think. That's a bold statement, but yeah, uh, I have a lot of these. I mentioned this before. I bought a huge like stockpile of it, and I only have one left now, so I'm kind of saving it a little bit because I'm scared it will run out, and I don't know if I can get that one anywhere at this point. I'm hoping next summer they will bring it out again, but I don't know, so I might have to find a new favorite. I also finished one of these um, Cosrx Clear Fit Master Patch. These are um, blemish patches, pretty much. Uh, this one has 18 of these small little patches. And what I do is I usually just, if I have um, some kind of really bad breakout, like I have one right here that's kind of gone now, thanks to these things, um, because I just put this on leave it on during the night. I, ha I used this for two nights in a row and then the blemish was pretty much gone. So I love those and I also kind of buy a lot of them when I can. Uh, we don't... I'm not sure, maybe I can get this in Norway now actually. But usually I'll have to go on some kind of website. I know they look fantastic as it and I also um, purchased it on eBay and other like places where they have like Korean friends. I'm pretty sure this is Korean or is it Japanese? Korean, yep. So highly, highly recommend those if you ever get pimples and you don't want to have them. Those are great. I also finished my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the coconut scent. This was in my uh, project pan and it is all gone. Super happy about this one. I do love the Fix Plus. Uh, but I do have a mini size of it and I have a lot of other setting sprays, so it's good to have one out and that can go in my back to back bag, so that's also nice. And then I finally finished my Kevin Murphy Anti-Gravity Spray. This is kind of, it says it's a weightless volume spray and I'm having a hard time deciding if I love this or if it's just okay. I think this is my second bottle of it. And I'm going to wait a little bit to see if I will repurchase it or not. I, I probably will because I think I like what it does to my hair when I spray this before I blow dry it or just spray this and do not blow dry it. It kind of just helps with getting a little more volume and my hair looking less flat and just boring. I'm not a hair type of person. You've probably noticed that my hair never looks especially good. It's usually just kind of boring, just hanging here. Um, I'm just not good with hair. I've never really liked doing my hair, so anything that I can do to make it look less awful and things that are easy to do, like this one, I do like it, but I'm just, is it worth the price? I don't know. We'll see about that one, but that is a maybe you purchase. Uh, and then I have some makeup items. First one, and the most exciting one, is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. If you saw my Project Pen update, you saw that this one was finished. And I tried again today to just see, can I get, because if there's, there looks to be a little bit left in the bottom. And I've tried putting it like upside down on the side, see if it would move. It doesn't. So... I'm not sure if it's possible to get out the last little bit, so I'm just calling this one done. Um, I loved it, and if I ever find myself in like Ulta or somewhere where I can buy this, I will buy it, probably two, um, 
because I love it so much, but it's impossible to get in my shade here in Norway, sadly. They have some darker shades, and I don't know why. Norwegian people are pale, so I don't know why they would start on, like, maybe L LW2 is the color I have. Maybe I would be able to find that one, but I should have had uh, bought this one in a lighter shade, and I know that there are lighter shades. They're just impossible to get, so that's a bummer. Then I have the Tattoo Liner from L'Oreal, uh, Tattoo Signature by Super Liner from L'Oreal. Um, this is all dried up, can't really make any sort of line with this. Uh, and um, it was okay. Not the best eyeliner I've ever used. Definitely not. Uh, I got it for free from work, so I don't mind that. <laughs> um, I wouldn't repurchase that one. I'm pretty sure there are other liners that are better and other liners that I haven't tried yet that I've heard are pretty good. So that's that one. And then I have a couple of mascaras. This is the Sephora Lush Craft Big Volume Volume Extreme. This is just a mini. Um, and I guess this is not completely done, but I've had it open for quite a while, so I'm just gonna call it done. And I also have the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara, and this is just all dried up. It's not, um, I don't like putting this on my lashes anymore because it just clumps them together. This one also looks fine, but when I go to use it, I'm just not as impressed with it as I was a month ago. And then, those are all of the actual empty products, but then I do have a couple of, like, um, kind of, no, not at all empty, but just products leaving my collection. So it's kind of a declutter, but kind of not. So the first thing is the uh, YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer, which, as you can see, I only used about a centimeter or something, very little of this primer, and then it just sat in my drawer for two years. How is that even possible? So this is just so old, I don't want to use it. I never really loved it, but I'm not tossing it either. I'm just gonna keep it because it's cute, it's kind of looks nice. So if I ever want to do like a makeup display, this will be on it, but I won't be putting it on my face. So that one is leaving my drawers, and the same goes for these two um, foundations that I've also had open for at least two years. It's the Revolution Pro Full Cover Cam Camouflage Foundation and the Isadora Natural Matte Oil Free Foundation. So these, um, I've had them open for such a long time, they were cheap. I'm not gonna wanna use them because I wanna use my other foundations. So I'm just gonna toss these. So that's kind of what I'm decluttering, and I'm also decluttering my MAC Brave lipstick, which was in my September makeup focus, but I didn't use it at all because it smells weird. Yeah, it definitely has that smell that I'm... makes me think that I shouldn't be putting this on. Um, so... I have so many makeup products that just expire, and that's why I shouldn't buy any more makeup because it's just such a waste and I'm trying to be a little more like not wasteful and think of the environment but still I keep buying stuff and I'm not able to use it all so it's just really stupid and I should stop we all should just stop for a minute and then the last thing that is leaving my drawers is this huge palette from Urban Decay. This is the heavy metal palette, but the eyeshadows, wow, this is super reflective. The eyeshadows are staying. I just depotted this whole thing. So, yeah, these are not eyeshadows anymore. They are just empty little holes, square holes. So this whole thing, it's huge, huge, and um, I'm finally getting rid of it. I like the eyeshadows still, 
with the packaging, even though I thought it was cute at the time, is just super bulky and it's not practical because you have to slide it out and then you have to use like one side of the palette. It was just all the mess and then the mirror in the middle. It was just, I don't know. It's not a good product design, but whatever. I'm still using those eyeshadows and I think I'll get a lot more use out of them now that I have them in a smaller, more compact, sleek palette. Now we're gonna talk about the products that I did buy. And from talking about not wanting to buy so much, um, I did actually buy a little bit. So I made one order on a Norwegian website that sells a lot of drugstore brands. And then I also um, was hoping that I could cancel my Glossybox subscription, but it wasn't cancelled. So I got a couple of products from Glossybox. I'm just going to quickly talk about them. Uh, so there were three... Two makeup products and then one nail polish. This is the Depend 7 Day Step 3 Hybrid Polish. I haven't tried this and I don't really love the color either, so. Subscription boxes are the worst. I shouldn't I shouldn't do those. Ever. So I've cancelled it now, so I'm not gonna get any more boxes after this one, thankfully. And then I also got a uh, Pixie Glossy Lip Plumper in a really like bronzy, I haven't opened this one actually, a like bronzy light beige color. You probably won't be able to see that, but it's, it's not my favorite lip gloss color, but we'll see how that one works when I eventually open it. And then I also got the Avant, I don't know why I've never heard about this brand before, um, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer Touche Eclat which sounds expensive, doesn't really, I've, I've heard this is actually, they said on here, this is supposed to be like really expensive. Oh wow, it's like more than a hundred dollars for 30 mils and this is 30, that's not possible. Okay, uh, it says it's like 110, 120 dollars, American dollars, I don't believe that, but whatever. It's um, it's a primer, and I haven't tried it yet, and I am excited to try it. Also, this doesn't really look like it's 30 mils of product. It looks like it's 20. But we'll see. So, one new primer in, and I do have quite a lot of like, mini primers, and I also decluttered the YSL one, so I don't really mind that much. Those are the products that I kind of... Um, didn't really want, but I still have them. And then the products that I really wanted. Um, well, first of all, the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte. No, Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in shade number two, Sunkissed. And it looks like this. And it has a really nice pattern. And it's a really nice color. It smells nice. Yes, smells really nice. I so far. I really, really love this bronzer. So that was a really good purchase. I'm happy about that one. And then I also bought the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer, which is a tube like this. And I bought this uh, mostly to compare it with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and that video will be up at some point. And I do really love these types of products these days. So I've only tried it like once or twice so I'm gonna have to try that a little bit more and then I'm gonna compare the two products and then we'll see I, I'm probably well I'm definitely gonna keep it because I so far like it and it seems like a nice product and then oops. and then I also bought two mini products from Isadora it's the BB cream that I haven't tried before uh, now I've tried it once and it's it's a nice BB cream. I don't have any other BB creams or any other like super light coverage um, base products so I thought it would be a nice addition to all of my full coverage foundations. And then speaking of full coverage foundations, this is one of my absolute favorites. I haven't had it in a while. It's the Cover Up Foundation and Concealer. And this is just a small tube so it's perfect for traveling and I can probably actually finish this one. 
because I have a lot of foundations now. So buying this one might have been kind of stupid. I haven't opened it yet and I'm probably not going to open it for a while. But I just really wanted to have that one again because I finished one of them previously and I love it. So I bought it. <laughs> and then I also bought a mini mascara, which is also one of my absolute favorites. It's the Isadora Build Up Mascara Extra Volume, which is the black tube with red lettering. Uh, it's the same in the big tube as well. It's just it's more square and this one is round and small. And I love mini mascaras because I've never really finished one. They just get a little bit dry and then I toss them after three months. So minis are great and I love them. And that website that I was talking about, uh, it's called liku.no. And I can link it for anyone who might be able to purchase from them. I know that Norway and Sweden has that site at least. And... Um, they have a lot of mini, like especially like Isadora minis. It's, it's great. I really, really great. I approve. So those are all of the products that I finished, all of the products that I bought in September. Let's just hope, cross your fingers. Is that how you cross your fingers? Yes, it is. That October is similar, that I can finish quite a few products and not bring so many new products in. That would be nice. That's my goal. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have an amazing day, whatever you're doing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!